Hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit of work. Oh, that sun is bright today. It's actually not too bad out here weather-wise, but today we're going to be doing a little bit of work on the charger. Just look at that, folks. Isn't she gorgeous? Just the way she sits there. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, on with the addition we're making to the inside of the car. nice solid clunk as we get in the car look at this guys absolutely gorgeous in this charger isn't it now you'll have to excuse it being a bit dim in here likewise but it's so bright outside with the winter sun it's still a bit low in the sky anyway long before tesla made cars catching fire a design feature cars have been catching fire for various reasons now there's approximately a hundred thousand car fires a year that equals to about 300 car fires per day. Now, 65% of these are caused deliberately to either hide a crime or cover a crime or do a false claim on insurance. That leaves 35% of car fires that happen for various other reasons, lack of maintenance, genuine accidents, etc., etc. Now, a lot of these can be avoided. One of the ways to do that is to fit one of these. A fire extinguisher. Now this one is the powder format because it's made for volatile liquids such as petrol, diesel, oil, etc. It's also only one kilogram in size, uh, which makes it nice and easy to transport inside the vehicle. Uh, this one came from that ever popular jungle website. You can get them for around about 20 quid, maybe a bit less than that. Obviously they do sell them in other places, but it's always worthwhile having one of these in the car. When you buy these fire extinguishers, you also get this frame with them or this clamp. And the way it works is obviously there's a hole there and there's another hole there that gives you the ability of being able to screw it down or bolt it down into the vehicle or wherever you're carrying it you can use them in your caravan as well if you need to or even in your car trailer now you can mount them vertically like that or you can mount them horizontally as long as it's somewhere sturdy enough to hold the weight of the fire extinguisher so i'm going to mount it there for now now i'm only going to mount it temporarily what i'm actually going to do is mount it with cable ties i know i know don't just don't bother putting in the comments that it should be mounted hard and it should be put in with self-tapping screws or bolts. But the only way I can get it to fit at the moment um, is by drilling holes. And I don't really want to drill any holes in this lovely original metal part of the car. So until I find a more permanent solution for it, which may well end up being here on the transmission tool between the driver and the passenger, until I get that sorted out, I'm just going to mount it temporarily and it'll sit on there it should be nice and secure at least it means i'll have a fire extinguisher in the car and hopefully you can see what i'm doing and you can hear me here now like i said this is the cradle for the uh, for the fire extinguisher so i'm just going to slide a cable tie through there and then i'm going to put the cable tie through the hole that's actually one of the holding screw holes for the original interior of the glove box when that's in place but we'll put that through there pull that through, slide it through the cable tie, get the cable tie through there. Well, I'll hold that in place for the moment. And then we'll slide another one through the other hole in the, in the cradle. Put that in place as well. Hold that down there. Just pull them both tight. them there for a moment and if I take the screwdriver out of the way my glove lock still shut and then we'll just get the fire extinguisher in place it just goes into there all in 
place and as you can see not only is that fitted now um, but I'm sat in the passenger side of the vehicle that's the captain's side over there and I'm in the uh, passenger side of the vehicle I've got plenty of space for my feet uh, the fire extinguisher itself is nowhere near my ankles, my knees, my shins, or anything like that. I've got plenty of space to stretch out, so it's not in the way of anybody. And, as you can see, it's fairly solidly mounted. It's not rattling around, so it won't make any noise when I drive in the car. And also, when I do put the interior of the glove box back together, you can still get into the glove box, and you can still use it as normal. And, of course, the glove box still shuts properly as well. So that's the extinguisher fitted for now it's perfectly okay where it is. As you saw, it's nice and solid, it's not going to move, it's not in anybody's way, and you can still use the glove box once the lion's back in there as well. Now there's one more thing I need to do because I know somebody will comment on it if I don't do it. Now you didn't honestly think I was going to forget to cut the tails off on the cable ties, did you? There's one. And there's the other one. There we go. That's both tails cut off. So now we've got a nice, nice, a nice neat finish. And because the spring doesn't exactly work, it doesn't hold my uh, my glove box lid up. So I've been using a screwdriver just to wedge it up. But now that's done. We can shut that. And there we are. That's all shut solidly. That's nice and solid. Not going anywhere. There we go. Not too conspicuous from inside either. So. Nicely safe, nothing else to worry about anymore. More out in the car in the summer. And you're now thinking of buying a fire extinguisher and fitting it to your own pride and joy in order to make sure it's safe wherever you're going. You can get the extinguishers for around about 20 quid in many places i'll leave a link in the description below to the one that i bought there's no affiliation at all i'm not sponsored by anybody i bought it i paid for it but i'll leave a link there so you can go and grab yours if you want to and if you enjoyed the video and you found it informative give it a like give it a share so other people can find out a way of how to make their cars a little bit safer when they're out and about this at this time of year or any time of year for that matter and uh, don't forget to subscribe on the way out guys thanks for watching see you next time bye for now